Welcome back, y'all. To kick things off, let's first burn through some of the snuggly items that I got. So, this one is an exchange. Let's see, what do we get? Rhyme blue moss. Are these all just worth rhyme blue moss clumps? I feel like it's a random thing, but... Purple moss clumps. Okay, so you just get clumps out of turning these in. Stop backing up. Stop backing up. There we go. Ooh, large titanite shard. Very nice. What about you? What do you give me? You give me a divine blessing. Um, I want to say, isn't there... Don't you get something for leaving a divine blessing? Okay. Um... What about a... Well... Um... Rubbish? Alright, well, I think we got... We got... You know, we got some stuff out of it. Anyway, uh, the big thing I want to do this episode is since we now have met our threshold, our, uh... 18 dex and 30 strength... We're going to take a closer look at some of the other weapons that we have access to. So, here's our training dummy pilgrim. Alright, so to start... Oh, this thing too. I'm um, not going to use it, but it's just a quick step harp type weapon. Um, has curse on it. Pretty neat. Anyway, so 275, and that's plus 3. This is plus 2 at 310. 218 on Abyssal, but it does split damage. So we have Physical and Dark, and then we also have Curse. And then this is at 250. Now this thing is at 213 already. So that's, I mean, at, at 213 this is already, you know, barely under the Abyssal Greatsword. Um, let's check the Pursuers, see how this feels. Getting 203. 40s. Just seeing if there's like any hidden modifier or something. I mean, I kind of like this in theory, but there's like that could be good curse build up. So I'd hit multiple on the startup. So it's only that with 468 and then the double at 374. 468, 374. Let me go. Ah. Be nice if you had like infinite FP while you're attacking the dummy. It's flashy, but the damage being split isn't going to be as reliable. And to be honest, I think Curse is... I, I don't know. I, I like the idea, but I've grown away from it. So 2.37. That's basically the same as what was on my Holy Cathedral Knight. 47. Hmm. I mean, between these four, honestly, I'm <clears throat> I'm really leaning towards the blunt meat cleaver simply because one percent health on hit is it's nice, you know. It has good reach. Um, it has a a strength scaling already, whereas this is D and this is C. This is C. This is B. Like I think I think the the meat cleaver and the butcher knife are my my combo here. Let me let me check it upgrade. See what they um. What? Maybe, uh... So that's the Pursuers is regular old Titanite. This is Twinkling. And the damage isn't scaling all that well either. You know, we're gaining an extra 10 on physical, an extra 7 on scaling, an extra 6 to the dark. Uh, it goes up to, let's see, 15. So 15 to scaling, 15 to physical. 
It looks like this this is getting bigger returns though. Because that goes up to one one oh nine. Like that's hmm. Cause this upgrading it again, I'm getting one upgrade here from let me let me do uh some quick maps. So we're at 252. So we're getting a total of 17 on a singular upgrade there. Whereas this one we're getting we're getting a lot. We're getting 15 and then from the scaling we're getting another uh we're getting like 30 total on upgrade. Whew. I wish I had more Titanite to, to see if this really comes into its own. It does weigh a pinch less. Pretty be careful. Let me let me take a closer look at these two movesets in particular. So reach-wise, let's, let's get a measurement. So right now we are just at the edge. So it's shorter. No, hang on. That didn't that didn't show properly when I swapped it. Is it? So this one is actually shorter. It's a little bit taller. This one goes longer, though. And we are looking at wide swings, wide swings plus heel, singular thrust, overhead, the wide thrust, big overhead. Overhead. So cross and heavy overhead. Alright, so this is closer to the sword I was using before. But the heavy attacks. I do like that the heavy attacks give me a sweep option. But 282 on that seems kind of weak. That's doing 349. So sweep into a pancake, slam into a pancake, and then I'm looking at wide stance sweep on that, wide launch, golf swing, AoE spin. Ugh. I just wish I had more Titanite. If I could, uh, that's why I gotta find the thing. Cause if I could upgrade this to where it's a comparable level, I think it might be more damage. It's it's really hard to say. Plus, oh, not to mention this hasn't been infused with blunt yet. I could, if I do this with blunt, I'm losing out on 15, but I'm gaining a shitload. Oh, mm, maybe. Maybe Pursuers Ultra is going to be the go-to. Because just doing that, that's that's already pulled them closer together. Yeah, it's already at 244 with no upgrade. I think this, this wins now that it's blunt. Because the damage goes up by 10, the scaling goes up by over 20. Maybe I don't want Damn. Yeah, plus one, it's already beating this out, so. Is this the scaling that's on it? No, just a better weapon, I guess. And it does weigh one less, so. All right, we will we'll work in, we'll use the Pursuer's Greatsword. Um, this guy I'm gonna keep around. I'm gonna make that lethal, I think. Lethal? Gain 17. Well, it's about the same because I'm dropping. No, I'm supposed to gain scaling bonus. 
I lose 12 on the base. I gain 17 on scaling, and then I gain 150 critical. Let's do, let's. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, it already has bleed on it too. Yeah, let's do that. I'll make that lethal. Pretty be careful. All right. So right now the biggest thing is I need some fucking titanite. Wait. What the hell? Oh, that's right. I wasn't using both shields at once. No, oh, damn. I can get one point to be able to use that. Level up. One in bit. And... There we go. Uh, burn this. I don't think I have two, but we'll check. I'll miss you, meat cleaver. So pursuers, and then the butcher knife. And the butcher knife will probably get replaced when we find a uh, a new Foom Ultra Greatsword or something along those lines. Uh, so from here, let me think. Where do we want to go? So there's Fair and Keep. I don't have to do the cathedral, but I could do the cathedral. I'm trying to remember any particular loot in the cathedral that's really, really appealing. And nothing is coming to mind. Let's go to Fair and Keep. If I remember, you find, uh... I think you find one of the, uh... The ashes there. The ashes for, uh, Titanite. And I don't know if those have been moved. But... If they have, that's gonna suck. If they haven't, great, because I need them. gonna focus on kind of going around grabbing some of the things we see iron flesh and a fire seed it seems like the swamp doesn't slow your mobility down anymore which that is very nice a lot more totems up in this place It's really nice going through the swamp with uh, normal speed. Doesn't make this area nearly as bothersome. Which it's needed with as fast as these guys do curse build up. You know, having a charge on that is probably really nice, because when you think about it, if I'm in a one-on-one, -on -one, I'd rather just go for multiple swings like that that are quick. Whereas if I'm surrounded, I'm going to want to nuke everything as fast as possible. Yeah. 
just come up here. I probably still have to do this whole light the torch thing. We'll at least get one. I know we spent a good chunk of this episode kind of, uh... Oh, baby. Nope. Did it once, you don't get to do it again. It's like I'm putting them out. I thought, didn't we want to light the flames, not extinguish them? Or has it just been that long that I forget? I could have sworn we'd lit the flames before. Oh, no. As we extinguish them, those light up. Okay. That's, that's fine by me. Um, so. We still got the big guys. That's usually where the bonfire is. So is this the third and final one? I think it is. Let's go grab the rest of the loot around here. We'll, like, kind of take this back loop and get stuff. I know you don't even need to go to the cathedral for the doll anymore, so... I mean, part of me is like, oh, there could be some new loot there that's cool, we should go. The other part is like, fuck that, cathedral's ass. It's just I've never found the cathedral fun, you know? All the catwalks, lots of, uh... Oh, fuck! God damn, curse sucks. Curse sucks so bad. It really sucked, because I saw, I was like, uh, well, I can't, can't go that way, because that guy's already gunked it down. I was like, all right, I should wait, and then, boom. Kinda of sucks that I have. I'm finding uh, lots of like large titanite now, but I've been so like wishy-washy when it comes to choosing a weapon that I haven't been able to actually like pick one weapon and just upgrade it. This is what I get for not having a fucking parry shield on. I just died to a basic bitch invader thing. Fuck this swamp. It's the swamp's fault.
<sighs> Just a wee bit stressful. We'll hit this while we're here. Now, while I was in my uh, panicked run, I didn't really pay close attention. Is there any, uh, any loots? I know I grabbed an ember. I think that's it. Let's go back down. I gotta go beat up that, uh, that other guy. What the fuck was that? bag. Just trying to find the loot. Ooh, stone Parma. That's nice. Too low, man. I need my health. The poison swamp sucks. Like, I like that I can move fast, but. Damn, dude, this, this swamp is just eating my health alive. And now's my chance. He's busy fighting all of them. A ring of retaliation. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Go over here. Ember. Oh, fuck, where are the ashes? I don't remember. I thought they were in here, but maybe not. Shards are good. I'm low on them. Oh, 
Opa. Was this the start? Oh, wow. I'm getting super turned around in this place. Um... Oh, shit. This is Titanite Scales. What is a Titanite Scale? The boss scales? Oh... Ew, well that explains why it's so potent. It's actually in the same category as a boss weapon. Well shit, so I can't even really take it any higher for now. Well, let's look at the new stuff we picked up. Stamina, I are low. Applies physical damage, 50 damage on roll. Alright, don't really need that. Um. Shit. Crest, don't parma, any other effects on these. Physical defense by 50. Luck by 5. Spell parry. Uh, item discovery by 25. Uh, oh, shit. Good old OG greatsword. Forty one. Looks like it's the same move set as the pursuers. Ah, I love this weapon. All right, so I may actually take back out the butchers. I'm not a hundred percent here. Um, Oh, because this is twinkling. Like, I need something that needs shards to use, you know? I could go for just a regular OG greatsword. But would I want the greatsword? I, I think what I'll do is I'll get 30 strength. And then I'll compare them, because... Well, it also it would need to be... Uh, blunt for a true one-to-one -one comparison. No, you know what? I'll just use this. I don't want to use up too many twinkling on that. Because why, why bother using something that's in the game? Use something that's new, you know? Alright, so just barely better for now. And it's up to S, so the scaling is going to start coming through on it. So we'll work with this. We'll keep the Pursuer's Greatsword as an alternative. Um, but as I get more boss stuff, I'll, I'll upgrade that or, or, I don't know, I'll figure out some considerations. Anyway, uh, we're going to wrap this one on up. By now, I'm assuming that the poll results will have wrapped up so I can go back and figure out which demon weapon to pick up. So that'll be fun. But either way, thanks for coming on by, and I'll catch y'all later with more.